Hey everyone, it's Sarah Oblak Spiker here and I just wanted to share with you a recent experience that humbled me greatly and uh, it also pissed me off. <laughs> so um, for those of you who are experts in what you do, who are the ones that others call upon when they need help, when they're in trouble, when they are um, overwhelmed and they just need the clarity, they need simplicity, they need um, help with breaking down their big picture into a tangible steps um, and anything in between, you probably know how challenging it can be to apply the same principles to your own life or how challenging it can sometimes be to um, apply the same um, clarity to yourself and to your own life. Now, we have all heard the expression that when you're in front of a tree, you cannot see the woods. I have always been using the expression that uh, you could be the best neurosurgeon, you cannot operate on your own brain. We have all heard the expression of, you know, we not being able to see our own blind spots. But the funny thing is that when somebody points them out, how do you react? How do you respond? What do you do? What goes through your mind? Um, for me personally, like I said, you know, I have always had coaches and mentors around me since I started to play basketball, you know, because in sport, it's a given that you have a coach. Um, in business and entrepreneurship journey, I've had coaches by my side for all these years as well. And um, I started to notice a couple of things a few years ago was that, you know, what I knew and what I was trained and what have been those time-tested principles and frameworks all of a sudden had started to become watered down in the coaching industry online space uh, specifically and uh, I didn't even notice how ultimately what I experienced would be equivalent to having a lobster boiling in a pot right um, actually water getting hotter and hotter and hotter before you even know it, you're boiling. Um, and it was really humbling to be reminded of it. Now, the reminder itself came in a quite harsh format. Perhaps that's why it hit me so hard. Um, but it was a great reminder that, hey, even as somebody who is super smart, who is wickedly creative when it comes to um, strategizing and creating frameworks that allow others to skip unnecessary in between steps, my mind got the best of me and my mind got crazy busy with bailing myself out of all the complexities that I created in my own vision that allowed me, it gave me a permission to hold back and keep busy with things that ultimately did not move the needle forward the way I wanted it to and the way I knew it should be working. Um, I just kept focusing like on this one thing is like, this is not working. This is not working. This is not working. What the heck? And I had spent a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of resources on trying to fix that one thing that wasn't working and it was affecting everything like a domino effect. It wasn't until this recent experience when I literally got my ass handed to me and my ego is still recovering from being bruised but it was the absolute truth that I was just not available to hear many times before because I thought oh no you know it can be as simple and it can be as easy and you can skip the most fundamental steps and you can do this and you can do that because here's a person who has done it there's another example of person who has done it here's my client who has done it I have done it in the past so many examples right I did not realize how toxic the environment has become and how subscribed unknowingly I became to some of the principles that they have no way of working and the only thing that works following those principles is spinning in circles and being stuck. Um, so of course, after I got called out, yeah, there was a pity party for a day or two for sure. And uh, I was not a happy camper. 
and uh, I was pissed and especially I felt guilty for letting down so many people around me because you know of this thing of I should have known better I should have known better so I want to take this opportunity to um, first and foremost share with you openly that you know yes my life and my business are pretty amazing and the prospects are even better but even there we have hiccups and we have um, wrinkles that need to be ironed and sometimes they're not wrinkles that can be ironed sometimes it's a whole log that need to be removed off the road sometimes it's taking the entire different road to begin with I'm talking in uh, analogy but at the end of the day you know no matter how good we are there's always room for growth and there's always space for improvement and there's always space to receive criticism constructive criticism from somebody else who knows better who's even more experienced and who just simply has an elevated perspective and can see things differently and one of the things that I realized was um, you know it was a reminder of hey that's right yes you should have known better but this is not a time and space to dwell on it because every single thing is a learning opportunity. Every single thing is a stepping stone. Every single thing is a step further and a step forward in the journey. And there were lessons that I absolutely needed to learn. Um, and so with that clarity, ultimately came motivation and an inspiration. And uh, just this whole different charge. It allowed me to release so many old stories and allowed me to release... Um, all these hooks of self-judgment because well you know I should have known better and how couldn't you have done it ah now we know why and now we're fixing it and now it's awesome um, so I want to invite you in case you are finding yourself in a space where you are just stuck and spinning your wheels and you know that you should know better don't be afraid to reach out don't be afraid to listen don't be afraid to uh, open up yourself to a different opinion, a different perspective. Um, and sometimes you never know. Sometimes this one more time of hearing it just might be the one that actually lands. Because what the feedback that I was referring to that I heard from this person, I have heard it before. I just didn't hear it, right? I was not open to hearing it. Or I would take it just, mm, yeah, but right there was always this but attached to it now I was like no I hear it I got it I got it um, so again an invitation to keep your eyes and to keep your heart and to keep your mind open um, and uh, just keep on being curious and keep on searching and keep on believing in yourself because at the end of the day you know it's you and your vision and uh, the path that you are laying out for yourself one step at a time and the only question that comes down to is like how committed are you to it and uh, how committed are you to yourself and how committed you are to the vision that you're holding knowing that you're going to bring it forth and even when it gets hard and even when it gets challenging and even when you need to take this u-turn and start again or look down for the entirely different route and being open to possibilities that you couldn't even think of being available that now all of a sudden it's like oh yeah now that makes sense so a quick message for you from me the lower Hudson Valley here um, and the puppies that just came out here hey Casey you want to say hi <laughs> sending you much love and I'll talk to you soon bye